Ira Samuel Einhorn, known as the Unicorn Killer, is an American environmental activist convicted of murdering his ex-girlfriend, Holly Maddox. Einhorn had a five-year relationship with Holly Maddox, a graduate of Bryn Mawr College, who was originally from Tyler, Texas, and known to have a rebellious fascination with the exotic Jewish male. In 1977, Maddox broke up with Einhorn. She went to New York City and became involved with Saul Lapidus. On September 9, 1977, Maddox returned to the apartment she had once shared with Einhorn to collect her things. Einhorn had reportedly threatened to throw her things out into the street as trash, and she was never seen again. Several weeks later, the Philadelphia police questioned Einhorn about her disappearance. He claimed that Maddox had gone out to the neighborhood co-op to buy some tofu and sprouts, and never returned. Eventually, Einhorn's initial alibi came into question when his neighbors began complaining about a foul smell coming from his apartment which in turn aroused the suspicion of authorities. 18 months later, on March 28, 1979, Maddox's decomposing corpse was found by police in a trunk stored in a closet in Einhorn's apartment. After finding Maddox, the police reportedly said to Einhorn, it looks like we found Holly, to which Einhorn reportedly replied, you found what you found. Einhorn's bail was reduced to $40,000 at the request of his attorney, Arlen Spector. Einhorn was released from custody in advance of his trial by paying 10% of the bond's value, or $4,000. In 1981, just days before his murder trial was to begin, Einhorn skipped bail and fled to Europe. He traveled in Europe for the next 17 years and married a Swedish woman named Annika Floden. Back in Pennsylvania, as Einhorn had already been arraigned, the state convicted him in absentia in 1993. For Maddox's murder, Einhorn was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. In 1997, Einhorn was tracked down and arrested in Champagne-Mouton, France, where he had been living under the name Eugene Mallon. The extradition process, however, proved to be more complex than initially envisioned. Under the extradition treaty between France and the United States, either country may refuse extradition under certain circumstances, and Einhorn used multiple avenues to avoid extradition. Although his sentence was not the death penalty, Einhorn's defense argued that Einhorn would face the death penalty if he was returned to the United States. France, like many countries that have abolished the death penalty, does not extradite defendants to jurisdictions that retain the death penalty without assurance that the death penalty will be neither sought nor applied. Pennsylvania authorities pointed out that when the murder occurred, Pennsylvania did not have the death penalty, and so Einhorn could not be executed. Therefore, to secure the extradition of Einhorn and to ensure that he was imprisoned for the murder, the Pennsylvania legislature passed in a 1998 bill nicknamed the Einhorn Law, allowing defendants convicted in absentia to request another trial. On July 20, 2001, Einhorn was extradited to the United States. Taking the stand in his own defense, Einhorn claimed that Maddox was murdered by CIA agents who attempted to frame Einhorn for the crime due to Einhorn's investigations on the Cold War and psychotronics. After two hours of deliberation, the jury convicted him on 17 October 2002, concluding the month-long trial. The following day, he was sentenced to a mandatory life term without the possibility of parole. In April 2016, Einhorn was transferred to SCI Laurel Highlands, a minimum security prison that provides care for inmates with health needs.